Do you hear that? That is the hum of an air conditioner. And let me tell you, the angels are singing and that singing is a gentle hum of an air conditioner. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris, you can call me Big Baby, and I am learning drag makeup. Now I started my drag makeup journey on April 19th, 2020 as a way to combat my boredom during quarantine and today is June 28th, 2020. So we are like a month and a week into this whole process. Now through this whole journey I've learned a lot about myself, I've learned a lot about makeup, I've learned a lot about video editing, I've just been learning a lot and you know what, it's been a lot of fun. Today I'm going to be doing another look inspired by The Great Milk from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6 All Stars 3. I love Milk's aesthetic. It really speaks to me. It's funny, it's glamorous, clown, sexy, what have you. It's everything that I want a drag queen to be. So today's look is going to be inspired by something that she posted on Instagram a couple of years ago. It's kind of clownish. It's very similar to her Moppet look, except without blue skin. It's going to be skin tone, and I'm excited to try it. Um, it's going to be something different for me. I'm going to do a neutral eye. A neutral eye. Trust me on this one. You'll see. This is going to be a transformation video. I'm not going to do a lot of speaking during it. Fingers crossed this comes out. Hope my makeup doesn't melt off my face this time. And I will see you when I get back.
nothing is wilder than a sheer top and a hairy chest. All right guys, here's my finished look. So what did I learn during this look? Clown white makeup is not that bad. Something I did differently was I guess I blended it out with my finger instead of just trying to utilize the brush to get everything going. So this white actually looks much better than I've ever done before. Also my lips. I learned something new with my lips last night. So here's the thing. My neighbors were lighting fireworks until five o'clock in the morning. And instead of getting upset, what I did was be productive since I wasn't going to be sleeping anyway. So I spent about two hours last night practicing my lips in my bathroom. And I think it paid off because these are the best that my lips have ever looked. So we're feeling good about this. Didn't mean to be a Tim Burton character, but you know what? When in Rome, right? Thank you again, guys, for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Check me out on Instagram at the underscore biggest baby. I'll link everything down below. I'll link the products that I have down below as well because I think that would be something cool, um, just in case some of you guys are wondering. It's been a lot of fun, guys. See you next time.